Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2 and we're talking about specifically the sundial weapons and I'm really excited about this one. This one is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while and since the scout rifle and pulse rifle videos did really well, resonated really well with people, I wanted to make another video like this. That way you guys can see my thoughts and concerns about some of the sundial weapons. So if you guys appreciate, like these type of videos, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, everything. I really do appreciate it. So on with the video. So for the first weapon that we're going to be talking about is Breach Light. Now, this is going to be in order of a weapon that I'm going to be actively farming to a weapon that I will probably never farm. So first is obviously Breach Light. Breach Light's amazing. I love this weapon. I love the fact that a new sidearm meta has, has happened. I just immediately welcomed it because I'm really tired of seeing shotguns and just that's it. So for me to have a, a hand cannon on one and then a sidearm just feels really smooth to me. I just feel like, oh, love it. So Breach Light, let's see what it actually drops with. So for the first column, it's gonna have Demolitionist, Outlaw, Underdog, Under Pressure, Threat Detector, and Hip Fire Grip. And for the second column, we're gonna be looking at Vor Vorpal Weapon, Quick Draw, Multi-Kill Clip, osmosis elemental capacitor and rampage so in my opinion what i would love to see drop for me would be something like outlaw with multi-kill clip maybe demolitionist with quick draw literally outlaw and demolitionist are probably going to be the only ones i'm going to be looking for in the first row because honestly underdog i hate as a perk under pressure is nice, but I just don't really care too much for it. Threat detector is also nice, but I just don't like the the fact that you have to be dick close to someone to, for it to proc. And then hip fire grip would probably be actually one that I would use because I actually do use this weapon a lot, hip firing. So maybe hip fire grip would be like ah, I'll, I'll use it if I if it drops with something really good. But the second column is probably where it gets really meaty. Vorpal Weapons is not a bad perk. I just, me personally, would never want it. Quick Draw, Multi Kill Clip, even Osmosis and Rampage for sure would be perks that I would be looking for. So, for me, what would probably be the best? I already have this role, but Demolitionist and Osmosis would probably be a really gross role. Outlaw with, like I said, Multi Kill Clip or Rampage. Another one would probably be Hip Fire Grip with quick draw would be an interesting one and honestly pretty much anything here we are going to probably want range out of everything else most likely but what i like to put for for this row is a pended mag or something that increases your mag that mm, like i have one with like 48 rounds i think and it's just it's it's filthy it really is so i've actually been actively farming this for a while since the dlc started and I've gotten roles like Outlaw and Rampage, Outlaw Osmosis, Demolitionist on Osmosis. I think I have one with Quick Draw. And if you take anything from this video, farm at least one God Roll for this weapon. Because I feel like this weapon has a lot of God Rolls. But for me, something like Demolitionist with Osmosis, Outlaw with Rampage, or Multi Kill Clip. Me personally, I would probably go with Outlaw and Rampage, even though I think that's a basic bitch like perk combination. It for this sidearm specifically, it feels really good because with Rampage, you don't have to think, it's just effortless. And especially if you put a Rampage spec on it, it's even better. So that's the first weapon, one of my favorite weapons from this season, hands down. The second one is actually my second favorite that I actually have been farming as well, which is going to be the Steel Feather Repeater. Now, for me, I'm not much for an auto rifle type of guy. I really am not that guy because ultimately they're not that good. Like, I'm not going to lie. What I really like about this gun, though, is that the perks that you can get on it is pretty, it's pretty good. Most of the time, you guys will see that I'm not really one to like certain archetypes or certain weapon types. But if they have a really good roll, I can really just fuck that. I don't care. That gun's good. So this one's a perfect example because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really like Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip. And this weapon actually drops with that. It actually drops with... So for the first row, we're going to be looking at Feeding Frenzy with Firmly Planted, Subsistence, Grave Robber, Ambitious Assassin, and Slideways. And for the second one, it's going to be Swashbuckler, Vorpal Weapon, Multi-Kill Clip, Elemental Capacitor, Surrounded, 
and osmosis. Immediately, you can already tell that, oh my god, I can use a lot. I can use this weapon with so many variety. You can do, like I said, Feeding Frenzy with multi-kill clip. You can do Grave Robber with Swashbuckler. You can do osmosis with anything. It really is just like subsistence with most likely, if this dropped with Rampage, it would be gross as well. But subsistence with swashbuckler is also nice like there are so many good roles you can put with this and obviously with making it like lo like long range for the hammerforge rifling not small bore gets gross like full bore polyano rifling ricochet rounds maybe but i'd most likely go for armor piercing rounds my me personally but this this gun it, I actually wanted to put this gun first, not because it's my favorite, but because of just the, the sheer variety that the perks have. So this one definitely do not sleep on this one. If you guys like PvE, Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip will not do you wrong. If you guys like PvP, Subsistence with Swashbuckler, Grave Robber with Swashbuckler, it's, it's filthy dog. It really is. If For me, if you were to tell me what would, what would you use? Subsistence and Swashbuckler for PvP would be fucking gross because Subsistence you can be just keep getting ammo from each kill While proccing Swashbuckler and then let's say someone like tries to run up run up on you Swashbuckler punch him in the face you immediately have five Swashbuckler rounds already so Again Steel Feather Repeater do not sleep on it guys The third weapon which is one of my favorite guns from Destiny to vanilla not vanilla destiny two year one which is perfect paradox i'm really happy this gun is back so originally i was going to put this weapon with another video that i was going to make like returning weapons but uh it's technically a sundial weapon so i'm like fuck it i'm gonna put it it's my video i don't care and let's look at the perks so for the first row it's gonna be demolitionist slide shot field prep underdog Firmly planted and threat detector. The last roll though. Swashbuckler, one two punch, trench barrel, opening shot, rampage, and eye of the storm. Immediately, if you were to ask me, Tony, what would you use for PvP? PvP, probably, if I'm gonna be honest, slide shot with swashbuckler. Slide shot with maybe opening shot. I probably wouldn't do opening shot because this shotgun's not the best with like one hit kills unless you're dick close. So that would probably actually help you a lot. But me personally, Swashbuckler for sure. This gun is very in your face. You're gonna be running this, running gunning with this gun. So me personally, Swashbuckler will do you way more than opening shot unless you're playing distance then why would you use it? Yeah, like this is really weird. But slide shot with swashbuckler for me, in my opinion, would probably be the best roll to get in this gun. PVE, you got one two punch, you got trench barrel, you got demolitionist. It it's it's really wild to me that they gave these perks to this weapon because it's not bad. It's actually really good. I'm really surprised that they got this. So, Tony, what would you use? Ooh, honestly, I don't. It, it's so hard to say because like for my hunter who has a liar's handshake i would most likely want the one two punch shotgun with like maybe slide shot but most likely i probably do field prep because you don't have to be like crouching to reload the whole clip you just have to crouch reload and then just stand back up i would do that maybe but slide shot i don't know man is this this, this is a lot of good rolls. I like it. It's just me personally. PvP wise, slide shot with Swashbuckler for sure. PvE, maybe slide shot with one two punch or trench barrel. Trench barrel is also a really good one. This one's just a very weird one for me. So, this is going to be a shotgun I'm going to try to get with one two punch and maybe slide shot because I think I have one with one two punch and demolitionist right now. So, yeah, let's go on with the next weapon. Next weapon's gonna be Line in the Sand. This one is actually one of my favorite linear fusion rifles, which is weird because I'm not a big fan of any linear fusion rifle, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, we are gonna be looking at the first row, which already I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? This, this is wild. Rapid hit on a linear fusion rifle. Immediately, I'm like, what the fuck? Then we got Genesis, Range Finder, Moving Target, threat detector and under pressure immediately 
threat detector and under pressure i i don't care about these two we're gonna be looking at rapid hit range finder and moving target these are going to be the main ones to use in pve or pvp genesis i don't really care about as a perk never really cared about it and probably never will for the for the second column we're going to be looking at backup plan firing line clown cartridge which is a d1 perk if i remember correctly dragonfly rampage and auto loading halter so tony what would you use for pve pve actually rapid hit with firing line hands down this is going to put in the work you're going to be getting headshots with rapid hit increasing your stability and reload speed and then firing line which is going to be increasing your damage like if you're near any uh, friends so immediately these are going to be amazing because it's going to increase your dps not only by firing line but because of the rapid hit you're going to be able to reload faster so that's going to be the combo that people are just going to be wanting to do which is the combo i want to do for sure for pvp most likely rangefinder with backup plan I wouldn't say rampage rampage is reared on a heavy me in my me in my opinion personally if it's not um like lmg then i don't think rampage like on a anything else is good to, that's just me though so probably rangefinder with auto loading holster or dragonfly in my opinion backup plan for sure that would probably be the one i would go for so pvp wise rangefinder or moving target with backup plan i feel like though those would be amazing you could do clown cartridge but i mean i don't think that's gonna be good for pvp considering you only get like what four two to four shots of a linear fusion rifle in pvp so this is actually a weapon i really want to farm because of rapid hit and firing line i actually love firing line as a perk it's really good so definitely do not sleep on this gun it's amazing it looks beautiful and it has some good rolls like I will add that you're probably gonna want to add like liquid coils no wait, not liquid coils I always get that one accelerated coils so that way you can charge up that beam a little faster especially if you have this like with backup plan instantaneous shots so that's all I wanted to say so let's go on to the next weapon which is Marty's retribution so this one is actually a really weird weapon it's the first archetype of wave something i forget what it's called wave frame so basically if you guys have used that thermal grenade that the titans have where you throw the grenade down and it, ha it does a wave of fire it's essentially that so this one's actually really good in pvp i have not been farming this weapon as much mostly because i have a go i have a role that i'm like oh, i think this is cool so i don't remember it off the top of my head i'll probably have it on the screen right now but I will probably farm this a little more just because of the rolls that it can drop with, but I don't use grenade launchers that much in PvE or in PvE, aside from like heavy grenade launchers or mountaintops. So again, for me, this is just kind of like a very niche, like, oh yeah, this is fun. It's for me at least, in my playstyle. So first column, auto loading holster, which is probably gonna be the one you're gonna be wanting to use anywhere in PvE or PvP. Field prep, threat detector, genesis, and underdog. Second column is Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Rangefinder, Elemental Capacitor, and Moving Target. So, obviously, for me, I would be using Auto Loading Holster with Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, and that's it. That's literally it, because Rangefinder, you, like, you have to aim, which is weird. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I really never, almost, almost never aim with a grenade launcher. It's always hip fires, so... If, the, if this column had like hip fire grip, then yeah, that would be amazing. But you're going to be stuck with auto loading holster, demolitionist, and lead from gold. You could do field prep. Like, like I said, all you got to do is crouch, reload, and then you just keep walking, go about your business. But for me, I love auto loading holster because of just the sheer like, you don't have to think about it. Just shoot, stow it for a second. You got the, you got the grenade back immediate. So that's pretty much it i really don't have an opinion on this one because like i said it's very niche for me i don't use grenade launchers pretty much anywhere aside from mountaintop and heavy other than that if you guys like grenade launchers dude honestly auto loading holster with demolitionist or lead from gold is gonna do you well unless you aim down then i mean range finder is also good because it increases your velocity but i mean 
there there that is <laughs> so the next one this is this is going to be the start of weapons that i actually personally do not like i just they do not interest me or their ass this one does not interest me in the slightest because i'm not a fusion rifle type of guy but let's look at the first the first column demolitionist auto loaning holster grave robber hip fire grip and no distractions on the first column. The second column has swashbuckler, lead from gold, multi kill clip, range finder, tap the trigger, and rampage. So, immediately, if you told me, Tony, you need to use this weapon, what would you want to use? Dude, the fact that this has grave robber and swashbuckler is really gross. But the other thing is, it's a fusion rifle. So, it's probably already going to like one tap immediately most people. So, swashbuckler and grave robber probably not the picks you got you'd want to do for this weapon for this weapon you'd probably do like maybe maybe lead from gold maybe but that makes that like you have to pick up a heavy for you know for it to proc so how many times are you picking up heavy in pvp pve yeah sure but i mean i would be using something other than a fusion rifle or even other fusion rifles that are better than this in my opinion maybe D demolitionist with multi-kill clip really that's weird I don't know man this is very this is a very weird like perk pull for a gun that does a lot of damage already like it it most likely one taps in pvp if you hit like your shots so for me i i have no interest in this weapon i really really have no interest in this weapon let me know in the comments what you guys would be using but for me personally maybe demolitionist with tap the trigger maybe other than that yeah i'd don't really have any opinions about this weapon at all so yeah on to the next one and last weapon which is going to be the patron of lost causes so i know i already hear a lot of people tony oh god this, this is amazing why would you personally me in my opinion the only role that i would be interested in this weapon would be rapid hit and explosive payload or that's it really actually so i <sighs> So, okay, so let me let me explain my thought process. Actually, let me explain the perks real quick. So, rapid hit, full auto trigger system, mulligan, grave robber, underdog, field prep for the first row. And for the second row, it's going to be vorpal weapon, explosive payload, osmosis, opening shot, elemental capacitor, and under pressure for the second. So, for me, in my opinion, if rapid hit and full, full auto trigger system were not in the same column... I would immediately go for that like the fact that i would not even have to think like i would just have to click and then just go for headshots i would have loved loved this weapon for that but it's just quite unfortunate because we already have a lot of other weapons that are much better than this we have randy's throwing knife night watch no feelings black scorpion fsr like we have a few good scout rifles that i would use over this like true truly i would especially since randy's is already a a primary weapon slot also night watch these two being the best weapons in the game for scout rifles especially if you get a really good night watch combination like i do which is what was it multi-kill clip with rapid hit that's amazing so i feel like this weapon is just it's fighting a lot of other great weapons in that same slot that for me in my opinion there's just uh, whatever it really it just i don't really care for it like as a weapon it looks cool but i just really don't care for it not only that the barrel doesn't change color which immediately pissed me off so that's pretty that's pretty much another thing in, in, of, in of itself but that's pretty much it uh that's all the sundown weapons that we got i mean we there are other weapons probably maybe no this is all the weapons i'm pretty sure but yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be farming. Obviously, like I already told you, I'm going to be farming Breach Light, Steel Feather Repeater, Perfect Paradox, Line into the Sand, and that's it because I think I have a good Marty's Retribution, if I remember correctly. And Gallant Charge, I don't care for. And Patron of Lost Costs, like I said, I just don't care for it as a weapon because we have other great scout rifles in the game that just do a better job than this one. So. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys are going to be using in the comments below. I'm really actually 
wondering what you guys are going to be using and what you got which guns you actually use i know a lot of people like marty's retribution the only reason i don't is like i said i don't use a lot of grenade launchers in pvp or pve aside from heavy and mountaintop so yeah with that being said thank you for everyone for watching up until this point i really do appreciate it if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later